The One Academy is the heart of our company. Cryptocurrency is not an easy product. It's a very innovative product based on technology and based on very, very complex concepts. For us to be part of this financial revolution, to be part of cryptocurrency and of a community, we need to understand exactly what we do and what we talk about. And this is why we have the One Academy. The One Academy provides you with concepts, provides you with explanation on cryptocurrency and on the financial world. I would encourage everybody to join the courses, to do the certificates and to understand thoroughly how to use cryptocurrency, what cryptocurrency is and how we can change the world by using cryptocurrency. One Academy. Learn today, lead tomorrow. Uh, so good morning to all One Academites. We have as our presenter for today, Mr. Kester Beal. Mr. Kester Beal, a little about him. He is a DC, that's direct current power engineer in the field of telecommunications, that sector, with more than 30 years of experience. He's a tax consult consultant with more than 30 years experience, financial thinking, and liberating people through the One Academy. Being in this position since 2018, he's a One Academy lecturer, he's a financial liberator, and he's excited to be here this morning to present our One Academy Zoom call here at lunch. So everyone, guests, get ready. Let's be excited. A lot of stuff we're going to learn here today from Kesby. So Kesby, welcome to our One Academy call. Take it away, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Noel. The One Academy. Education is the heart of our company. The information contained herein and dispensed is not designed to be a source of financial information, nor should it be construed as such. One Life is not an investment company. What, are the object what is the objective of these One Academy calls? In the end, the final objective and the first objective is to provide you with additional research and interpretations of the lessons in your back office with a view to encouraging you and ensuring that you successfully complete the first level of your One Academy. We encourage you to get into your manual and add in the principles both from a theoretical and practical standpoint. Today, we'll be saying simple. But prior to breaking off the One Academy course last year, we consistently asked for topics we need to put emphasis on. That option is still open. It can be even via private messaging. Our objective is to get you past level one. Why? Because having an army of qualified One Academites not only increases our educational quotient, but gives us more than simply a voice when things begin to change. And we know they have begun to change. We see what is happening in the world markets, the crashes of even cryptocurrency. But because we understand finance, our cryptocurrency remains safe and unmoving. We are like that solid rock that cannot be moved. So step up to the level one challenge. The One Academy team is in your corner. When you step into your back office, this is what level one looks like. You are new, you will have seven lectures because of you. The lessons literally come in English, Chinese, Romanian, Russian, Polish, Czech, Spanish, Arabic, and Portuguese. This shows you that the objective of One Life and the One Academy is to educate the world, not simply cliques as we have existed now. We need to understand value and how we apply ourselves to bring forth value. And of course, there's a certificate of completion and 
uh, sorry, a certificate of completion when you are completed. In this level one, you have fundamentals of finance, 80%, financial principles, 77%, and the evolution of money. You have to understand what is money. That paper you have is not money. And this is the spread of your classes. Your manual, lecture one, risk and return, then asset classes, three, fundamentals of finance, then money and monetary system, five, introduction to financial management, and six, introduction to financial markets. And of course, your quiz. We encourage you not only to take copious notes here, but with your manual, also take copious notes and understand and begin to master finance. So today we'll be dealing with economic bubbles. What is an economic bubble? As I said, this is tougher and tougher as we go along to ensure that we are all educated. Bubble theory, it's an informal financial hypothesis that presumes the possibility of rapidly rising prices. Those are prices, of course, that go above the equilibrium price, the balance price or market price. Being followed by a severe crash, as value cannot be acquired from assets purchased above their worth. You pay 300,000 for a house that is worth 250,000, you cannot recoup that 50,000 unless that house is used to earn some type of income. At some point, you will have to find out what is your break even. So there are things like break even analysis that you can use to find out how long it will take for you to break even. But if you purchase that house and live in it, you've lost 50,000. And in addition, if market prices resume to the equilibrium price, you will never get back that 50,000, even if you sell it. But then let's get into interest. All demands for interest requires repayments above those provided and therefore demands additional value. So no matter what you do, no matter what type of loan you take, once you have to pay interest, it is more than the value of whatever you acquired. Again, only business can start to help you make back that, but then you're operating from a point of loss. The interest itself automatically escalates the loan above its original price because if you borrowed 300,000 again and you paid 350,000 I encourage you to step into YouTube and take in Mike Maloney Mike Maloney, Hidden Secrets of Money there are at least 10 episodes and he gets into it Heavily. The comparative definition of a bubble. This is how economists define a bubble. An asset bubble is when assets such as housing, stocks, or gold dramatically rise in price over a short period that is not supported by the value of the product. Reference on Key Amadeo in the balance.com. So, my first question I was being led by this economist, because they give you examples such as housing, stocks, or gold. Fiat currency is not included as an asset. So fiat currency falls into this definition in the form of interest-bearing loans. So when the price of a loan rises over a short period that is not supported by the value of a loan, 
then the equilibrium price will push to return it to its normal value. And you can only benefit from that. And I use the word benefit loosely in terms of a variable interest loan. And this entire scenario further includes and increases inflation. Your key takeaway is bubble theory is not an accepted economic theory. So expect some experts to watch you funnily and tell you that it's not established, this is not, etc., etc. But bubble theory is a point of view based on historical perspective concerning exuberant market behavior. And we know financial institutions are exuberant in their behavior. The price of an asset, including a loan, can get much higher than the actual value of the asset. And investor perceptions and expectations can drive prices higher than actual value. And of course, this is the Achilles heel. An untimely price correction can be rapid and economically dangerous for financial portfolios. So what do we do in that type of situation? You diversify your asset portfolio with assets of differing categories to shield against market fluctuations. Because usually when a particular category is affected, it's opposing category or counter category goes in the opposite direction. So always also have cash on hand, not in the bank, on hand to take advantage of unforeseen opportunities. Because remember, that cash is fiat currency. And a government can recall fiat currency in specific times, example times of war. So make sure it's in your possession. If the government starts to recall, then chances are the value of that cash in your hand is going to go up. What you can acquire is going to increase so always have cash on hand to take advantage of unforeseen opportunities. Problems always exist. No matter what you do, there will always be problems. <clears throat> Learn to add value by solving problems. The more people affected by the problem or problems, the greater the value you provide by solving it or them. So solving a problem for a single person, that person will thank you. But solve it for a village and you will have the accolades forever. Work on controlling your emotions so you do not walk into problems. Emotions carry us into unnecessary problems in the financial world. I feel this, I'm going on a hunch. This one says so, and I'm accustomed to them being right. Always do your own due diligence. And that is why I'm encouraging you to step into your one academy and earn your level one certificate. In there is the beginning of due diligence. Okay, so basically, this come together to ensure that you acquire what is required. So I'll hand over once again to, I think Noel is there, because this section was brought to you of course, courtesy Mr. Clifton Gillipsy. And I'm seeing his microphone is still muted. Clifton Gillipsy was supposed to have been our 
merchant of the day. So I hand you back over to Mr. Noel Emmanuel Jack to introduce him if you can communicate with us. Mr. Jack? Okay, what a wonderful presentation, Mr. Kesby. Thank you very, very much for giving us that analysis of the present state of our economy and the recession and the issues with the bubbles and so on, and how we can position ourselves to diversify, you know, and get involved in this one academy so as to help us to create financial wealth and freedom. So before we conclude this call today, we, we have a special promotion where we feature uh, one of the deal shaker merchants. This is an e-commerce platform where the one coin cryptocurrency is used to purchase products and services. We have on our platform, Mr. Clifton Chilipsy. And just to give you a little short bio of him, he's a certified financial planner. He's a former life insurance agent who joined the One Academy in July of 2016. And after 22 years in the insurance business, he finally found an instrument to really help people to secure their financial future. He has passed level one, level two, level three, level four of our One Academy. Those are the, the courses and he's currently pursuing level five. I mean, quite a lot of knowledge, quite a lot of experience in these um, modules. With this knowledge in hand, he makes everybody on his part aware. Yes, aware about the current financial shift, that Amen. current financial revolution that is taking place. Mr. Chilipsy, we welcome you on board this Zoom call. Are you there? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. So you will promote your deal for today. Tell us a little about yourself, a little about your business and tell us about your deal. Take it away, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Noel. As I was introduced by Mr. Noel, my name is Clifton Ken Lipsy. And what I wanted to share with you is the deals I have on the Deal Shaker platform. Let me start with why did I chose to become a merchant on our Deal Shaker platform? Just reminding you all that the mission of our founder is to get in 10 million users and 1 million businesses on our deal shaker, 1 million merchants. Right now we have about 3.6 million users. Due to our One Academy, I realized that to be sure that our business becomes a great success, it's all about usability. And our coins can only be used if there are merchants willing to accept the one coin as a payment method. So that's why I started on the platform. My hobby is, I like plants. So what is my business? My plants, instead of keeping them in my garden, I bring them to your workspace or to your shop and I rent them for you. After a while, these plants need to be changed and that is all what I do. So when I take back the plants, I need to purchase new ones. Luckily for me, in my country, I found a shop, I found someone who is willing to accept 100% coins when I purchase these plants. Last, I had to pay for some plants and guess what? I had to do a payment of about 9,700 9, SRD. If I convert it to the US, it would be about 1,500 US. Why am I sharing this? Because this is proof of usability. Because if I think back to 
the moment I started in this business, I purchased a starter package and I had to pay 140 euros. The coins I got with, with that educational package when I had to pay for the 9,700 SRD, I had to use 80% of those coins. And that is where people see what it is to protect the purchasing power of your product. Coming back to the deals I have on Deal Shaker. So I sell my plans for 100% coins. Up till now, due to transportation, my deals are only available for Suriname. So I hope there's someone from another country in this call hearing what I am sharing and who is willing also to join this platform selling their plans. The acceptance for 100% coins is up to you. Why I choose for 100% coins? Because if I have 100 plants to sell, maybe only 10 or maybe only 20 I'm selling on Deal Shaker. So the fiat currency I need can be brought in by the other 80. Mind you, every time someone is going on the Deal Shaker platform, the deals they will start looking for are the deals who accept 100% coins. So I say to my fellow, to my fellow IMAs out there, think back to what our founder said, 1 million merchants. If there are currently already 3.6 million merchants, what are we talking about? If everyone decides to become a merchant, it's because I understood what our founder, what our visionary is communicating to us. So once again, everybody on this call, look around, become a merchant, find a merchant. So right now, Within a month, it should be possible for us to have 3.6 million merchants on this platform. Just tell two persons about this opportunity. Because once you go on Deal Shaker, the only thing you have to do is to share the link of your deals. Let me close up with this confessment. We were having a deal shaker bazaar in Suriname and it was planned for the 29th of February, 2020. So we as IMAs, we had a meeting with each other to help others who were not uh, uh, used to the deal shaker platform to load up a deal, to load up their account and so on and so on. So I said to them, the first, meeting we have five days let us like imes become a deal shaker merchant next week when we come together bring at least another ime we're not looking as, as yet for merchant outside let's look from within those who understand the ecosystem because it is easier to explain to them we uploaded some deals the next week there were more merchants and at the 29th, we were able to do the bazaar. But my deals, which were loaded up two weeks before the bazaar started, all my deals were sold out. So even when I am asleep, I am able to earn. Wake up, people, wake up. What Dr. Ruja handed out to us. Become aware and make sure you use it to the max. My name is Clifton Lipsy, and I am a proud deal shaker merchant. I am the host today, so I need to wrap up. Once again, with the entire, entire One Academy staff, I thank you for being on the call with us. I encourage you 
to be part of our Zoom call tomorrow, same time, same place. Invite at least one person and remind you again, right now we already have 3.6 million IMAs. So it is easy for us to fulfill the dream of our founder to get in at least 1 million merchants. As I said again, we should have at least 3.6 million merchants because every IMA is a potential deal seeker merchant. I thank you to be on the call today and this call is over. See you tomorrow.